CKNW. Zara Pramji from the CKNW Newsroom. Uh, today, got to speak to a pretty interesting guy. She's going to tell you more about him, but I'll, I'll give you a bit of cliff notes here. Imagine this. Uh, you, uh, you have sight. You find out when you're 13 that at some stage in your life, you will be a blind person. So, you know, you get a little bit of fair warning. You have a chance to be able to uh, deal with it, figure it out. And, and with this particular guy that you're just about to meet, uh, it is hereditary. So he probably knew from a very young age that at some stage, possibly in his life, he was going to go blind. Well, guess what? He's going blind. But you know what's interesting is when you hear this guy's voice, this guy is... Uh, absolutely committed to the fact that he knows he's going to lose his sight, but he's not going to let that get him down. He is going to uh, move forward, get a career that he can do as a guy that can't see, so he can support his family. An incredible story, and Zara Premji joins us to tell us all about this guy. Uh, we, we talked about this guy briefly in the 6 o'clock hour. Yeah. What an incredible... Uh, a story. Generally, uh, you know, uh, I'm not going to say a lot of people, but some people would go, oh, I'm going to give up. I'm just going to, I yeah. can't do this anymore. But this guy's gone, all right, I'm going blind. Uh, let's deal with it like adults. Yeah, he said, I have a seven-year-old daughter. I have a wife to take care of. I believe his wife also works. But at this point, he said, we can't just survive that way. I want to be a contributing member of society. Yeah. I'm not just going to sit here, become blind, and not do anything with my uh, life. Unfortunately, my grandfather, who has since passed uh, on my mother's side, w went blind in uh, in his 60s oh. and, and couldn't see for the last 25 years of his life. Uh, and he, he quite genuinely gave up. He didn't know what to do. Uh, so he just literally stayed at home the for, the next, for, the, for the next 25 years. And uh, it was incredible. Incredibly sad to see that happen, but this guy has gone. All right, challenge accepted. Yeah, definitely. What's he, he doing? Uh, he is. He's so happy. Like I, I, you played the audio earlier, and we'll play some again. He's not a negative person. Uh, he's decided one day he was massaging his uh, his wife's shoulders or his daughter, and he said that's just something we do. We always give each other massages, and his daughter kind of brought it up to him, his seven year old daughter, and said, "Well, you're good at this," and he said, "Oh." Maybe I should be a registered massage therapist. Which, which, when you think about it, imagine not having the uh, the gift of sight. Yeah, it's something you can because it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a physical. It's all touch. It's all yeah. touch, and you know what shoulders and backs feel oh, like. So yeah. this is actually perfect for him. And the thing is, the studying is really difficult. My sister just became one last week, so yeah. I, I've seen the studying that's involved. And he's using what he has left yeah. eyesight so wise he, to study this. Yeah, isn't he's he? like, I have like I can't just do this all with touch and braille. I have to do this while I can see. So. Mm -hmm. So uh, he's really committed to what he's going to do, and I'd love to play for you the audio yes, absolutely. Um, of Patrick. And we have a little clip from his daughter, Hayden. So his name's Patrick Rennie, right? Patrick Rennie, yes. All right, have a listen to his story. I've had all the stereotypical um, effects of the condition over the years. Uh, the first thing is night blindness, uh, the ability to see in dim, dark light starts to fade away. Um, uh, and then, inevitably, uh, I start having portions of my uh, visual field um, start to uh, diminish to the point where then, then they're lost. So uh, eventually uh, you sort of have um, patches of vision that disappear. Um, blind spots start to grow. Inevitably it works its way into your central vision and uh, and it begins by distortion and like, distortion sort of warping like imagine if you're trying to read a sentence and the words start to sort of twist and kind of uh, spiral together that's well why would you like your daddy to be a massage therapist well, because he's good at massaging and she is adorable. She really is. Uh, so here's what's interesting. He he started a GoFundMe campaign, uh, and I've got the page up in front of me. Uh, and his goal is thirty thousand dollars. What's he going to use? Uh, what are you, what's he going to use that thirty thousand dollars for? Just to pay for his tuition. And tuition everything? books and ten percent goes to um, a finding. Dis uh, you probably have it in front of you. I can't remember the name of it, but it goes to a, a blind disability. A blind disability. Ten percent goes to a foundation fighting blindness, which is FFB.ca. Uh, so thirty thousand dollar goal. He's already got five. Uh, he's already got fifty four hundred dollars. That's incredible. Yeah. What he, a great story. Shelby Tom from the CKW Newsroom. What a great Sorry, story. That, she that was, okay. What did I just say? <laughs> you called me Shelby, but did she's I really? beautiful. She's beautiful. Oh, You've mistaken me for it's her. It's one of those days. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's all right. We're besties outside of work. Duh. Right. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. More on the other side of this. We'll get you news to 8.30 next with uh, Matt Lee. Stay there.
when your career